तो सब्जेक्ट का na ako mag-check lang ako ng isa kung uh, okay yung sound natin. Wait lang. At least hindi naman pala masyadong delay. Maganda yung ating uh, signal. Malabo lang yung video natin. So wait. And uh, Pwede kayong mag-comment ha. If you can see, meron dyan tatlong uh, tab on the right side. So dito, pwede kayong mag-ask uh, ng question. So ito yung sample. Sample. Uh, naririnig nyo ba ako? Kung naririnig nyo ako, please uh, reply on my... Uh, question dito sa admin box. Yung sa pinaka-left most na may user na nasa sa circle. Pakikip. Yan. Okay. So maganda yung sound natin. Okay naman. So sorry for the delay. Ha? Kasi that's supposed to be sharp by 8 o'clock. So we're starting already. Ang problema talagang naglulok yung OBS natin or yung tinatawag natin online broad broadcast system na software. So yung OBS, kagaya nung nakita niyo last time, I tried to have a uh, live doon sa Facebook page natin. Kaso lang talagang naglalag. Uh, after, uh, after a while, mamamatay. So yun, nawawala. Teka lang, hindi ko maintindihan kung saan ako papasok. <laughs> doon pala dapat ako pumasok sa... webinar. Okay. Okay, sige, paki ano nga, uh, paki-type nga lahat ng active para lang malaman natin kung ilan kasi on our registration we have 37 na mag-aattend ngayon. So para bago tayo mag-start ito yung ating kailangan gawin. So, mag, uh, ila, yung name, hindi na natin kailangan palagay. So, sabihin mo lang kung how many years of experience na sa safety at saan kayo nagtatrabaho. So, pre-type naman. Habang hinahal ko lang yung ano, kasi kailangan ko din mamonitor. Kung gano'n ba katagal yung delay. Anyway, kahit hindi na naman ako mag-monitor, as long as naririnig nyo ako, okay na yun. Okay, so ito, may nadagdag pa. So, ilan na tayo? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, sige. So, isahin ko ng batiin. So, hi and good evening to Tricia Marie Tablang, kay Jensen Sunga, and 
si Alexandro, si uh, Jacamos, one year pa lang po, from which company, okay, si Diana, welcome, long time no see, Yeah, si Jensen ay one year as a static fire driver operator. That's uh, four months as safety officer for the North South Commuter Railway Project. Okay. Good. Good to know. How about the others? Paano natin malalaman yung iba? And how are we going to know you since you are here and part of this uh, webinar? Okay. So please let me know down. No, I can't have my monitor. About the others, yes. Kunti na lang ha, kunti na lang. Wala. Okay. So yan, nakapasok pa tayo. And I could monitor na din. Si uh, Celsa Bilbar, wala pa pong experience bilang safety. Gusto ko lang maging safety officer. Okay, that's good. So dito, sabi nga natin eh, want to get hired. Sabi natin doon sa ating uh, uh, image, doon sa ating post, want to get hired or raised easily as a safety officer. So kasi karamihan ng ating problema ngayon dito sa, sa safety, di ba? Ay yung, ano, yung, yung, yung problema ng mga paguhan. The first time na mag-enter ka sa sa larangan ng safety, eh, nahihirapan tayo maghanap ng mas maganda opportunity. So, yun yung ating problema. Now, the issue is, hindi lang naman yun ang problema. Eh. Right after mo na may one year or two years ka ng experience, in kapag binigyan ka ng chance naman, let's say, only six months dun sa bago, and then after six months, maghahanap ka ng panibagong trabaho. Now, what will happen? ang hirap pa rin makahanap ng trabaho. Ang advice ng karamihan, especially yung mga nandun na doon sa, sa mga medyo maganda-ganda na yung experience, mahaba-haba na experience nila. So what used to happen is, i-advise ka nila, especially sa Facebook, sasabihin sa'yo, pagtsagaan mo muna yung mga subcon o magtiis ka muna sa mababang sweldo. So yun yung, yun yung kadalasan na i-advise sa atin. So but the problem is, After two years, after one year, or uh, sometimes six months, especially kapag mga six months, what will happen? Kapag lumipat ka ng ibang kumpanya, same pa rin yung scenario. Same pa rin yung sweldo. Kasi ang pagbabasihan na lang is, it's not where you came from. It's what you can do for them. Okay? E ngayon, kapag hindi makita yun ng employer, what will happen? Ang ibibigay nila sa'yo, is whatever you are getting from the previous company. So, wala silang option, options eh. Wala silang basis. Okay? So, yun yung mayayari sa atin. Kaya, kadalasan, ang bagal ng progression ng ating salary range. So, kung mapapansin mo, supervisors na sumusweldo pa rin ng mga 20,000 or, 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 or 25. Kaya, imagine supervisors with a hindi mo lang makahabot ng 30,000. Di ba? And, and yet, some, some of them, yung mga nasa sa superintendent level or, or yung especially sa general industry, what, what used to happen. Diba? Parang, parang you're acting as a safety manager. Pero, ang sweldo mo is parang pang supervisor lang. So, di ba? Yun yung, yun yung medyo mas masakit. So, ngayon, this is what we're going to do. Uh, pag-uusapan natin is what will happen to our responsibility at this point in time. 
na pagbalik mo sa trabaho, especially yung mga excited nang bumalik sa trabaho, even though ang ang NCR ay nasa sa MECQ or Modified Enhanced uh, Community Quality. So, ano ba ibig sabihin ng MECQ? This is the midway between ECQ and ECQ. Okay? Now, what is the necessity of uh, a safety officer in a company at this point in time? So, ano yung mga kailangan mong gawin and how you are going to make sure that your company will not contribute to the possibility of having a second wave. Di ba? Yun yung kailangan natin eh. So, kailangan meron, meron mag-contribute yan. Meron gumawa ng action against against that, uh, I mean, towards that objective. Eh, hindi maging part yung company mo. Dahil what will happen, the uh, second wave, if that is going to happen, will be coming from those people who started to work after May 15. Okay? So, kung yung mga company nyo, ah, di ba, mag-start kayo sa, sa 18. Most of the companies will start on 18, especially construction. Diba? And yung mga nasa manufacturing also will be included on that. But the problem is lahat ng risk will be along the way para sa atin. Not only to uh, not only on us, but especially to our people. So what are what programs are you going to lay down to your organization and how you are going to give value? Kasi ito, kapag hindi mo to nagawa at hindi mo to na contribute, di ba? What will happen is wala wala ka rin, wala kang mabibigay na value. Kasi ang aim natin dito, di ba sinabi natin, what is our responsibility in a new normal? Pagbalik natin sa trabaho. And how are we going to create an impact on everything that we do as a safety uh, professional? So, yun ang ating kailangan. Now, ano muna yung mga, uh, what are the skills usually of an ordinary safety officer? So, I want you to participate on this. So, please type. Ano, ano sa palagay niyo yung mga normal na skills na meron kayo ngayon? Or hindi pala, yung meron kayo, sa tingin nyo ay special. Okay. Ano yun sa tingin nyo yung mga uh, normal na, I mean, special skills na meron ka? Ano yung mga special skills na meron ka? Pakitype dito para makita natin how you are going to utilize that as part of your responsibility when you come back to work in a new normal situation. Diba? Mas kaya sinasabing new normal. Eh, hindi ito talaga normal eh. Hindi ito ang normal. We are just on our way to the regular normal. Ito yung new normal kasi parang everything is going back into places. Diba? So, Hindi naman talaga, hindi pa to normal. So we're on our way to to become a, a, in a regular normal situation. So this is special. Kaya kailangan natin ng special skills. So I want you to put down yung inyong, uh, yung inyong mga special skills na sa tingin nyo ay pwede natin i-utilize for this, for, this, uh, for this purpose. Because ang ating agenda, by the way, Ang ating agenda is how we are going to create a safety plan in this kind of situation. Diba? Safety plan tayo. Safety plan. So, hindi to biro. Hindi to ordinary yung webinar, webinar lang. So, I want you to participate. Kung hindi ka magpa-participate, it's fine. Bahala kayo. Diba? You won't get anything out of this. Kasi wala kayong pipicturan dito. Ang pipicturan nyo or i-screenshot dito ako. Kasi, actually, that's not the original plan. The original plan is, meron akong PowerPoint presentation supposedly. And I will just have my image on the bottom uh, bottom side of the uh, of the, the, the video. Eh, ang kaso natin, hindi nga may problema talaga yung OBS ko, yung software. So, I will try to look at it kung paano kaya rin sa software because I hate that. I can't do live 
Yan yung problema ko eh. I can't do life unless you're just going to see my face in that. So, eh, hindi naman natin, hindi naman yun ang importante. Because this is not, eh, hindi ako basta, hindi ako YouTube na nakagaya ng parabiya na mukha lang nila yung nakikita yun. Okay? So, this is something else. So, I want you to write down, ha? your special skills na sa tingin nyo ay magagamit natin for this for this situation. Okay? I'll give you one minute for that. Please type, please type here. Pagkakala ng iba, recorded daw to. Ha? This is life. This is actual life. As much as possible, ayoko na ng recorded. Kasi ginagawa ko lang yung recorded uh, as fucked up kapag ka nag-fail. Kasi ayoko hindi matutuloy kapag ka nag-post tayo na meron tayong webinar and then hindi matutuloy. So may backup tayong recorded video. Pero as much as possible, Ang gusto natin mangyayari is live kasi I want to interact. Ito si Alexandro uh, C. Dacamos. Okay. Ano sabi niya? Uh, kasagaran, sir, yung pinagawa ko araw-araw. Okay. Reporting and inspection on site. Most especially on power tools, heavy equipment, and scaffoldings. Okay. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Very good. Uh, we will talk about it later. I uh, will just wait for the other people. Na nandito ito. Ang dami nyo ha. So, si Alvin. Okay. Alvin, Cels, uh, Celsa, Diana, Euphemio. I hate those people that are not going to participate but just looking here. Ha? Or watching here. Si Francis, si Gretchen, si Jensen, Jessica, Karen, uh, Mark, Christian, si Marlon, si Michael, and si Trisha Marie. Okay? Please participate. Maraming alam in terms of medications for first aid. Uh, uh, shout out sa inyong lahat. As, uh, shout out sa inyong lahat na nagpa-participate. Dalawa pa lang. Mamaya, after ng live natin, i-announce ko, yung mga uh, uh, most uh, attentive na participants ng ating webinars will receive a free coupon. Ha? Kung matindi yun, kung wala kayo. Uh, establishing Workplace Safety and Health Committees. Okay? So, yan yung skill ni Trisha. Uh, pag-establish daw ng workplace safety and health committees. So, how many times are you going to establish safety and health committees? Because if, if you did it once, okay, but anyway, we're, we're going to talk about it later. Uh, what I'm trying to ask is, ano yung mga special skills nyo na sa tingin nyo magagamit natin dito, ha? dito sa new normal. Mm. Okay. Sige, go ahead. I will wait for you kasi hindi ako mag-umpisa unless uh, lahat ng mga nandiyan sa atin ay nakapag-type na. I will, I will try to discuss every details. Walang problema. Huwag kayo matakot na mali yung inyong i-pinost, ha? Or, or yung comment. Eh, wala naman talaga perfect yung tao sa mundo. It so happen na sometimes, di ba? Kailangan tanggapin natin because every time that we have mistakes or we did some something wrong, eh, may natututunan tayo doon. Okay? Sige. Wait lang, ha?
No, okay, sabi ni uh, Vincent, uh, drone inspection sa site, kung safety ka, ginagawa ng empleyado. Ng empleyado. Okay? Panay sita at nagpapaalis sa mga steelman. Sa mga matigas ang ulo, mga ayaw, sumunod, tamang PPE. Ang pinaka-special skills ko talaga, sir, paggawa ng notice of validation of memo. Okay. So, ayan, disiplina, disiplina yan pala si James Hensunga. Okay. Si Jessica naman, looking forward to be a safety officer. So, as of now, wala pa po akong experience. Uh, nursing graduate, o, oh, frontliner. Okay. But never pa po ako nag-board already. Uh, already taken the boss, okay? And planning to take the course after the pandemic. Okay, yan. Isa pa rin sa pag-uusapan natin yan. Kung uh, what is the implication of this kind of things doon sa ating career direction. And by the way, alam niyo ba guys, meron tayong free online course sa sa ating SUSTEC, uh, SUSTEC Online Academy. So, libre yun. You can register anytime. It's much better kasi, especially dito sa mga bago, so that you will have the direction on how you can how you can ensure na merong, merong direction yung talaga yung inyong, inyong career as a safety officer. Ayan. Sabi naman ni, uh, okay, wala na, yung iba, okay, anyway, sige, alam naman natin na uh, sa, sa ano, meron talaga matigas sa mulo, and we'll try to hide, ito yung mga tinatawag ko na last, last row students, di ba, as much as possible, they will hide be, behind those the students in front of them, para hindi makita ng teacher sa klase, okay, ito, tandaan nyo ha, this is the law of the classroom. Sabi ni Kim Chu. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's go back. Let's go back to, to our topic. So, yun nga. So, kaya ko tinanong yung special skills because ang number one aim natin is how we are going to incorporate in our safety plan. Ito na kasi yung normal na ginagawa niyo. This is the regular normal na ginagawa niyo every day nung pumapasok kayo bilang safety. Yes, of course. Diba? Yan yung, yan yung inyong pinirmahan eh, na job description. But there is something else that may prevent your project not to continue. So kasi yun yung ating pinaka-objective bilang safety officer. We need to help the company to make sure that the uh, that the the project, especially mga nasa construction, yung sa mga bago, uh, if you're going to join a general industry company like manufacturing, oil and gas, or uh, BPO industries, ang aim nyo is to make sure na yung process ng kumpanya nyo is mag-resume and mag-deliver yung product and services. Okay? While on the construction side, this is based on projects. So, ano yung kontrata nyo? What are you going to deliver at the end of the project or contract? So, ang kontrata is about civil works or civil uh, civil engineering, they mean to say that is what we're going to deliver at the end of the contract. Meron timeline yung project and you need to make sure na yung project na yan ay ma-deliver on time. If not, that will be a big problem. So, we should never be happy. Ito yun ha, para sa mga bago pa lang papasok sa pag-safety. Probably in your training sa boss and cost, that's why, eh yan yung ating pinaka-hesitation sa lahat eh. Di ba? Most of the trainers right now, or even before, yan yung itinuturo sa mga bagong papasok na maging safety. Wala kayong gagawin kundi maghanap ng mali sa time at pigilan at stop ang trabaho. When you stop the work, what will happen is hindi matatapos yung project. You will be uh, out of timeline. Di ba? So, maupugos yung time mo is stipulated in the contract and ang kalalabasan niyan, hindi nyo deliver yung services. 
hindi lalabas talaga na may hina yung kumpanya nyo. Based on 1047.2, uh, diba? o 1047 yung paragraph sa, sa cautious standard natin, sinabi doon that a safety officer, a safety man, must be the principal assistant and consultant of the employer in managing health and safety of the workplace. Hindi ikaw ang manage ng health and safety of the workplace. You will be advising your employer what to do and how to do it effectively para para ma, ma manage yung workplace ng maayos in terms of hazards and risk. So meaning to say, you need to make sure na may ibigay mo yung dapat na mga recommendations. Yung mga tamang recommendations para hindi magkaroon ng stop work. Well, ang sasabihin naman ng karamihan ng mga safety officers, eh hindi sila sumusunod eh. They don't want to follow. Eh, ang tanong, ano bang pinapaksunod mo? Ano bang ipinapakipad mo? PPE lang ba? Safety is not about PPE only. Okay? Ang main objective of safety ay to ensure that all the losses will be reduced. Di ba? Ito, okay? So, later on, I will I will read your uh, comment, Mark Christian. Um, I mean, yung ano, yung uh, yung aking, every time na mag-start tayo ng work, losses will be there. What happen? Eh, ikakalugin ng company mo yun. Sorry ha, medyo mabagal yung internet bumagal. Kasi sabi ko kanina mabilis. So yan, medyo nag-iikot. Anyway, balik natin yung sinasabi natin about uh, ano ba yung talagang kailangan natin na responsibility or dapat natin gawin. Regarding doon sa pagpapastop ng work, hindi talaga yun ang ating main role as a safety officer. That's the reason why everybody doesn't like safety. Here in the Philippines, hindi sinuseryoso yung mga safety. Yung mga safety is parang pakaramdam ng, ng top management is no value. Di ba? Kasi nga, kasalungat eh. Lahat tingnan natin ha, yung production, syempre of course, ang priority niya is to uh, to work, to, pro, uh, to produce. Di ba? If, if they are uh, manufacturing products, so ang kailangan nila is mag-produce ng bada. So, bakit? Para marami silang mabenta, may benta. Okay? Ma-deliver yung product sa mga customers. Ganun naman sa, sa, sa construction, of course, kailangan kasi meron silang uh, magawa nila yung trabaho nila para ma-deliver yung services. Ang services dito is matapos yung project. Okay? So, yan yung kanilang, kanilang objective. Pagdating sa finance, di ba? Mamanage yung, yung kanilang budget or yung pera in terms of delivering the project as well. At nang sa ganun, di ba? Mamanage ng maayos para mas malaki yung maging profit. So sa production, same din. Pag na-deliver mo ng on time at high quality yung iyong project, it means uh, mas malaki ang pwede maging profit in terms of uh, the contract. Okay? Pag naman na uh, na-delay, of course, mababawasan. Sa quality, ganun din. Pag tinaas mo yung quality, mas maraming kliyente. Mas maraming sales, mas maraming impact. Okay? Pagdating naman sa mga logistics and other things, and other departments, logistics, purchasing, purchasing, they want to purchase the highest quality product at the lowest possible cost. Bakit? Pag baba ng purchase nila, pagliit ng kanilang uh, expenses in terms of raw materials. So, ibig sabihin, liliit yung gastos nila, lalaki yung kita. So, lahat, kung mapapansin natin, lahat ng, ng uh, companies, I mean, departments sa companies, ay towards the income, diba? towards the income or profitability aspect. Eh, samantalang yung safety, ano ba yung aim ng safety? Pabalik tayo. Diba? Ipatigil yung trabaho, din hindi matapos yung project. Diba? Ma-stop yung, ano, yung mga pabilhin ng pabilhin ng maraming PPE, which is the most expensive control in in the uh, control hierarchy. So what will happen, lalaki yung gastos, 
ma dili is you o matitirang profit. So kung mapapansin natin, safety is going the opposite way. So hindi tayo kalampi or kakampi, tayo ay kalaban. That is what used to happen. Kalaban talaga yung safety department dito sa Pilipinas. Because nga, ang gusto, kagaya na lang yung 11058 when, when, it, uh, when it was announced na naaprobahan na, di ba? Lahat ng safety tuwang tuwa. Lahat ng safety tuwang tuwa na meron na daw Uh, meron na daw batas na lalaban sa kanilang sariling company. Imagine your company is paying you. Okay? Your company is paying you. Pero ang problema, di ba? Kumpanya mo nagpapakain sa'yo. Kumpanya mo nagbibigay ng sweldo. Pinabayaran bawat oras mo at pagod mo. Whether you do nothing uh, valuable or not. Di ba? Eh, doon pa lang. Bonus na, na may tra- bonus na, nasundin pa yung iyon ipapagawa. Kaya wala ka dapat ipagmaktol. Nag-gets nyo ibig sabihin. So, doon papasok ngayon yung ating pagiging, pagiging opposition pagdating sa kumpanya. That's why they don't like us. Okay, so basahin ko lang itong kay, ano, kay uh, Mark Christian. Sir, my special skill ako, I give warning sa mga uh, Violator, like not using proper PPE as an evaluation before give the right judgment sa violation. Okay? So ito yung mga tinatawag natin reactive actions or reactive role. So ngayon, this is what we used to do in a regular situation. So ngayon, in a new normal, iba na yung sistema. We need to make sure kasi ito, ito yung mangyayari. Once na merong nag-positive or merong naging under investigation doon sa inyong site, automatically your company will be shut down. Temporarily, ha? hindi hindi kagaya ng, uh, ng sa ABS-CBN. So ang ibig sabihin, walang magtatrabaho sa inyo, of course. And everybody na pwedeng expose doon sa person is under investigation or under observation ay kasama din sa sa tababantaya, di ba? So you will be under monitoring. So that is what will happen. So lahat kayo ngayon na stop yung trabaho and then balik na ngayon kayo sa quarantine. Hindi na kayo ngayon mapapa, makakapagtrabaho. And that is what we don't like. Di ba? Kung mapapansin nyo, a lot of people right now Uh, crying out loud regarding na regarding dun sa walang sweldo. Diba? Asa tayo dun sa binibigay ng dolin na 5,000 or sa DSW din na 6,500 or dun sa bigas na binibigay sa atin na sinasabi na amelioration. Diba? Na halos hindi mo man makain kasi hindi ka nga sanay bumili ng yung ganong klase ng bigas. And then bibigyan ka ng dilata Diba? Bibigyan ka ng corn, bibigyan ka ng sardinas, eh hindi ka nagsasardinas. So talagang masakit sa kalooban mo yan. Or bibigyan ka ng corn beef, eh ang corn beef mo, pure foods. Eh bibigyan ka ng star. O Argentina, di ba? O iba-iba pa yung Argentina, pero uh, most of the people I know, they are not uh, used to eat uh, those, uh, those brands. So mas malaking problema yun. So, ayaw na natin mahuli ito. And as much as possible, the reason why I created this webinar, actually every month we're going to have a webinar. Until such time, hindi ko mag natin titigil pa. Kasi talaga magkakaroon ng webinar. Actually, the plan is two webinars per month. Pero hindi na yung dun sa Facebook kasi uh, ayaw naman natin na hindi seryoso yung para lang tayo ay na, na para lang tayo ay ma-expose doon sa Facebook. Pero ang aim natin is to help everybody to be part of the overall program ng safety officer ng Pilipinas. Diba? Meron tayong gagawing programa na kung saan as long as hindi pa lumalabas yung, yung, uh, yung antivirus dito sa COVID, we need to make sure 
that we are doing our part. We are doing our part. We are engaging every safety officers in the Philippines. Diba? And we make sure na yung skill na kailangan nyo ay ma-acquire ng bawat safety officers. Yun ang ating kailangan i-make sure dito. Kaya nagawin natin regular to. Uh, regular itong ating webinar. That's why inform your your uh, your colleagues regarding this. Because if you want to be part of this advocacy, okay, sige, tingnan ko nga. Sino dito ang gusto maging parte ng programa na ito? Eh, hindi to, hindi to kaya ng isang kumpanya lang. Ang problema kasi, let's say, diba? hindi naman talaga uh, isang company lang ang, I mean, yung kumpanya mo lang concern mo, this is about the community now. Dadaan at dadaan ka sa mga lugar kung saan, may posible. E, 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 kung yung, yung isang company or uh, isang kakilala mo or isang kumpanya pala, hindi sila uh, incorporated sa ganitong klaseng level ng awareness about the uh, responsibility of the safety officers. E, talagang, talagang maaaring bumalik at magkaroon ng second wave or third wave. Eh, ayaw na natin mangyari yun. Sino ba dito ang gusto pa mangyari yung second wave? Sige, pakitype nga diyan. Kung walang mag-type, ibig sabihin gusto nyo, pakitype nyo ng no if you don't like. Okay? And huwag kayong mag-type kung gusto nyo. Sige, tingnan natin. No kung ayaw nyo. And just mute yourself. And it means na gusto nyo na magkaroon ng second wave. And you like the experience of having this COVID. You know, I hate this experience. I hate this experience. Somehow, okay na rin. Diba? Somehow, okay na rin. Dahil, dahil there's a lot of things that we have, that we have done for the sake of our uh, direction. Kasi nabuo yung website, yung suspect, uh, suspect in, uh, in and yung Suspect Online Academy and then meron pang nalabas in the future, abangan nyo lang. And then yung membership, we will be we will be introducing the membership, a premium membership of Suspect kung ano magiging benefit nyo. Hindi lang, hindi lang yan sa ano, hindi lang yan sa, sa puro training and webinars only. And uh, meron pa tayong mga gagawin kung paano magiging uh, magiging madali para sa lahat, especially doon sa mga bagong safety officer, na papaano magkakaroon ng mas magandang opportunity. Diba? Doon sa premium membership kasi, automatically yung members ng SUSTEC will receive a website. Yung website mo na yun, ang iyong front page will be your profile. Parang resume mo sa internet. Diba? Naalala nyo, kung, yung, kung meron na dito na atin sa one of our trainings before that we conducted in our classroom sessions, especially dun sa career management, what I used to do before, yung aking CV kasi is available in the web. Diba? Magugulat na lang ako, I, I did not apply, I did not go, I used to receive emails and proposals for uh, dun sa tinatawag natin interview. So usually, ini-interview ako online. Because they, they knew me that I am uh, available online. So they can contact me online. That's the, that's the easiest way. Rather than, uh, actually, ako nagahanap ng agency para i-process ang documents ko. Hindi ako nagmamakaawa sa agency na pumila. Diba? Pagsamantalahan at paghigpitan ng mga gwardiya doon sa agency, pupunta ka doon ng madaling araw para pumila. Diba? I did not experience that those times na nalaman ko yung mga techniques and that is what I'm going to share you. So dito sa website profile na to, meron siyang built-in na resume builder. Okay, as long as member ka, that will be yours. And kagandahan nun, marami pang pwede na maging part, uh, maging benefit ng isang safety officer. So this is what will happen. I, um, lalabas kasi yung aming mga consultancy and some softwares that will be used by the companies. Itong mga software na to na i-offer namin sa mga kumpanya will be free for them. Okay? That is a consultancy software. 
So, libre nila ma-access yung consultancy software. Provided na yung mga trainings na kailangan ng mga safety officers at ng mga key personnel nila or focal points will be coming from us. But all the trainings will be online. Kasi ang kagandahan sa online, and you, you can do it on our free time. You can do it in your free time. Di ba? Meron kang, uh, alabaw, ah, two hours a day, and then you are going to do it in uh, four days, you will be uh, finishing a, an eight-hour course. So, ganun kadali. You, you don't need to bother to wake up early in the morning para pumunta ka doon sa, 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 sa training center. And problemahin mo yung pamasahe, problemahin mo yung, uh, problemahin mo yung iyong uh, tinatawag natin uh, kakainin, di ba? Yeah, because some, most of the time, yung merong mga training center like us na hindi kami nagpapakain, walang libreng pagkahe. Kasi you did not enroll for the course because of the food. Di ba? Ang iniiwasan lang namin magpulaan pa yung pagkain ay hindi masarap yung pagkain mo. So, the, parang the more you talk, the more mistakes. So dito, the more you offer, the more vulnerable your offer will be. So that will be a big problem. So yung iniwasan natin. So pinapasimple lang natin. Okay? Yeah, so yun yung ating yun yung ating uh, yun yung naging benefit dito. So that's the good thing about doon pa lang suabi na. And there will be exclusive webinars para sa members. Yung exclusive webinars na yun, libre sa mga members, of course. Meron tayong public webinars like this. This will be free for everybody. Kasi parte sila ng program. Pero parte ng pagiging elite. Eh yun yung programa natin sa premium members. Pero parte naman ng ating advocacy, yun yung para sa lahat ng mga safety officers ng Pilipinas. Nagas yung ibig sabihin. It's, this is not only for the Filipinos who are working here in the Philippines. Kasi pandemic to pinag-uusapan natin. Di ba? This is all over the world. Kaya kahit natin ibang bansa ka, it will be applicable for you as well. And ang, ang iniiwasan natin is ayaw natin na magkaroon magkaroon yung uh, ng second wave. Kasi nga, masakit sa bulsa, sa karamihan. Di ba? Maraming dumadaing dyan. Uh, like, especially if you don't know how to utilize the internet. Okay? This is the good thing about the website profile. Magkakaroon din ng storefront and affiliation program. Sa affiliation program, you will receive an incentive. Incentive on every sale. Di ba? Every time na may magpa-member, may bumili ng mga products, na digital products na sustek, you will be receiving, uh, you will re receive incentive. So, in a month, probably, baka more than pa doon sa subscription, si mo, yung iyong ma-receive ng incentive. So, at the end of the day, you're not spending money. You are earning additional income from the side. So, that's the good thing about the program. Eh, bukod pa doon, this is the most intensified benefit. Libre mo ma-access lahat ng tutorial videos na applicable sa iyong plan. Lahat ng webinars, okay, recorded webinars, lahat ng online courses na available sa iyong plan. And aside from that, meron pa tayong mga software. Yung software, eh yun yung tinatawag natin na, na uh, risk calculator para sa risk assessment, which is one of the skills na ipofocus natin dito sa webinar na to. Di ba? And meron tayong investigation software. Actually, ready, ready na lahat ng software. The only problem is uploading the, the materials for the courses. It took a lot of time. Diba? Parang ang isang 40 hours course, like yung aming upcoming e-books and e-books through PSSP or uh, Producto Servicio para sa mga safety professionals. Ito ay accredited na STO, which is the uh, part owner of SUSTEC. Okay? Kaya SUSTEC yan. And part owner of Sustek also is asset. So, nag-combine, combine na to. And itong Sustek talaga are the uh, digital uh, people, technology, uh, I mean, ito yung mga IT people talaga. Kaya natulungan tayo na maging feasible tong ating online even at the midst of this 
outbreak. Okay? So, yun yung ating gagawin. Kasi most of the time, halimbawa, kunwari sa inyo, uh, yung mga safety officer, uh, the, the, uh, yung mga gustong ipatraining ng company nyo para maging SO2 or maging SO1, eh, ang problema, hindi mahugot-hugot sa production because walang oras and the production will be will be uh, prolonged, di ba? So, ano mangyayari? They will, they will just put it online and as long as uh, kinukuha nila at nagtitip sila ng course online ng e-course and e-course, matindi yung magiging uh, magiging uh, uh, matindi yung magiging epekto. Okay? Anyway, uh, inintroduce ko lang yung sa membership. We, I'm not going to tell you about the price about the membership. Pero hindi ito sobra and hindi ito uh, uh, hindi ito unaffordable. Gagawin natin affordable to dahil sa ating purpose. Okay? Uh, same scenario in our factory, pinapaseminar for compliance purposes. Well, that's the only reason. Tanggapin natin ang buong katotohanan na ang safety ay gagawin lang ng isang company for compliance purposes. Bakit? Wala kasing nag-introduce sa inyo ng safety ay hindi para lang sa compliance. Ano pa ba sa tingin nyo ang ibang purpose ng safety? Meron ba kayong alam kung anong purpose ng safety sa isang kumpanya? Para lang maging ligtas yung mga tao? Eh di para maging ligtas yung mga tao, huwag nyo papasukin. Stay at home. Di ba? Kaya lang mga kasimple eh. The problem is you need these people because these are the resources of your company to make your, their business feasible. Nagtayo ang kumpanya ng negosyo para kumita at hindi para mag-alaga ng tao. Okay? Kung para mag-alaga ng tao, dapat ang itinayo nila ay hindi kumpanya at hindi negosyo. Dapat ang itinayo nila ay uh, foundation. Di ba? Foundation. Or, uh, ano pa ba yun? Mga parang uh, social welfare ng mga ko, ng mga klase ng organisasyon. Hindi, hindi business. Okay? The purpose of them, ito kasi yung problema eh. Sa tingin nyo, ang, ang, ang buong katotohanan about safety, the main objective of safety is to reduce the losses of the company in terms of the expenses towards safety. Kasi meron tayong mga kailangang aksyon na gawin. Alinsunod sa batas, diba? may kailangang gawin ang employer. Meron siya kailangang i-comply. Now, ang ating party bilang mga safety officer, because this is our special skill, ang special skill na tinutukoy natin is how are we going to make our company comply on the legal aspects in terms of their business, uh, in terms of safety, uh, as per the OSHA standard, in the least expensive way. Ano yung sabihin nyo? Sa pinakamurang paraan. Di ba? Pinaka, yung kasi yung kailangan natin eh. Yung kasi yung ating responsibilidad. How are we going to make sure na mag-deliver yung trabaho on time? And how are we going to make sure that we can comply in the lowest possible cost? Diba? Yung kasi yun. Kaya nga, isa sa mga advanced training after your post and post loss control management. Hindi nyo napapansin. Kasi, if you just have your boss and post, it's very hard to have uh, to make to, to, to have you able to make the safety plan. Kasi yung plano is based on how you are going to reduce the cost in safety. Tama yun yung sinasabi mo. So that's why this is what, what we are doing. Bakit namin ginawa yung basic courses na i-push na yung e-boss and e-course? Actually, napakatagal ng plano niya. Since mitiga days, this, this is a plan already. Tagal na yan. Since 2018, the problem is hindi siya matuloy-tuloy. Kailangan lang pala ng COVID para matuloy. So right now, nangyari itong COVID and we used to be staying at home for 
more than two months, I think. Diba? Eh, nagawa ngayon to platform. Nagawa tong platform. Well, yung iba, ang ginagawa ng ibang STO kasi alam na nila what will happen. In the GCQ days, diba? in these days, until January next year, walang magiging classroom training. Walang classroom training. So everybody is subscribing to Zoom. So sa Zoom kasi, you can speak. Diba? You can speak. I can speak. Eh, sayang naman kung hindi ka naman magsasalita eh. Diba? Dito nga magta-type lang, hindi, na, hindi pa mag-type eh. Doon pa sa Zoom. Diba? Usual na magsasalita din yung trailer. Eh, bakit Zoom? Now, what's the, what's the problem with Zoom? Ito yung problem with Zoom. If we started by 8 o'clock in the morning and we are going to end up our Zoom class at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, you need to be there the whole day. Eh, dito sa online platform na ginawa natin, yung ginawa na natin yung ngayon, di ba? Eh, pwede mo siyang panoorin yung video lessons anytime you want. And chinap-chap natin yan for every 30 minutes. Lahat ng video lessons will be only for 30 minutes. Kaya kung ang available time mo lang ay 30 minutes, at least ang progress mo is 30 minutes. Eh, di ba? Eh, one, le- one video lesson. Kung ang isang section ay merong, like like in Ibos, sa aming Ibos kasi, meron tayong, meron tayong several, several lessons. I think around uh, 16 lessons. 10 kasi, and the four, six, five sections, and then 10 hours, that's 20, 16, 16 lessons. Kasi 8 hours eh. Di ba? 8 hours in a day, 5 days. So, convert natin yung five days into sections. In every section, merong eight hours. But every lesson is 30 minutes. So, 30 minutes times 16. That is how many lessons you have in one section. If you completed one section, then the next section until the fifth section, you will be able to complete the whole course. Kung Bosch man yan or Kosh man yan. Ganon din ang sistema sa LCM, sa Safety Program Management. And of course, sa TOT, meron din tayong TOT, but in TOT is something different. In TOT, may Zoom class. And in Zoom class, ikaw ngayon ay magpipresent in front of the other students and our trainers. Of course, in the panel. So, ganun yung mangyayari. Kasi may, may, may ibang, iba naman yung purpose of, of uh, TOT. So, those are the different things that may happen in our... Kaya nga, Malaki pa rin problema doon sa Zoom class. Isa lang isa lamang ang iniisip ng karamihan ng mga STO to continue their business. But the thing is, how to be able to help each company or each people na maging feasible pa rin in this kind of uh, new normal situation. Diba? Ito na yung new normal situation. Wala na tayo magandawa. Diba? And it's, it's safer for us. Safety, safety officer pa naman tayo. So, ibig sabihin, if you're going to insist on on having a classroom training, eh, hindi yung safe para sa atin. So, that's why, minarapat natin na magkaroon tayo ng platform para gawin yung online. Okay? So, balikan natin yung skill, skill natin para sa new. Sabi natin, we need to make a plan. Okay? We need to make a plan. We need to create a plan incorporating this situation. Anong skill ang kailangan natin sa plano? Well, tanong ko lang sa inyo, anybody, okay? I just need I, I just need three person. Okay? Itong tatlong to, yung makakasagot ng tama dito, what will happen? I will give something bonus for them. Bibigyan ko ng 90% of pag-iisipan ko pa kung ano ibibigay ko. Ha? Pero definitely you will benefit from this. So ito yung tanong ko. Sa safety plan ba, at sabihin na natin plano na lang, sa, sa kahit anong plano sa buhay mo, ano ba yung mga, ano yung purpose, bakit mo ginagawa yung plano? Okay? Ano yung purpose, bakit mo ginagawa ang plano at para saan ang plano? I need three answers for that and 
the, the top three answers na mapili ko, I will give 90% on one of our product, whether that's an online course or 90% ah, ang discount. So 10% na lang ang babayaran. Wait lang. Okay. Sige. Pinalabas ko lang yung mga aso kasi nagkukulit yun sa kulungan. So, bilang safe officer, kailangan maghanap tayo nun pero pasok sa maghanap maghanap tayo muna pero pasok na sa pasok sa standard na PPE o safety device or materials para may magamit tayo sa site. Okay. So, thank you very much. But anyway, I have this question, ha? Yung question na binigay ko sa inyo. So, I just need the top best answer. So, tatlong best answer dito will receive. Pag-isipan mo kung ano yung produkto, ha? Na ibibigay ko sa inyo. Nalala nyo, LCM pa na. 10%, 90% discount. Or hazards and risk management. Eh kung ang presyo ng hazards and risk management is uh, 1,000, so 100 na lang babayaran mo. Uh, saan ka pa, di ba? Ito, sabi ni Celsa Bilbar, uh, para makuha kung ano ang gusto uh, gusto mong output or target dapat magplano ng maigi. Okay. Well, I need something more specific about it. Ano ba yung gusto mong maging target at tungkol saan ba tong target mo na to? Yung gusto ko malaman. I want to I want you to pinpoint the specific reason why you are making a plan. Yes, of course. Para ma makuha mo yung gusto mong target. About what? Target about what? Output about what? More specific, malapit na yan. I like that, I like that answer. Pero hindi pa yan yung hinahanap ko. O oh, sige, sige, sige. Ito yung bibigay ko ah. Ito yung bibigay ko. Sabihin ko na. Just came to my mind. Talagang ibibigay ko. Something na hindi pa namin nahihilapas. Isa sa yung available na ngayon. Kasi the reason why hindi namin sabay-sabay nahihilapas yung mga kose, sabi ko nga sa inyo, it's very hard to upload. 64 MB, it will took us uh, 64 MB lang yung limit. Okay? It will took us one and a half hour for every 64 MB video lesson. Okay, ito kay Alexandro. Para mapaayos ang, la ang lahat ng bagay pero bagong simula ang lahat na dapat maging uh, uh -huh, output ng iyong plano. But we need to rea be realistic. Ano ang namatiyag uh, sa mga bagay para mabuti ang uh, labasan. Okay? Something the same as uh, CELSA. Okay? Gusto natin yung rason talaga bakit. Ano yung, ano yung reason why we are planning things. Para ano ba itong mga bagay na ito? Ha? Ano itong mga bagay na ito? I need one more answer pa. Kayo na. Sige, subukan nyo. Pinpoint nyo. Ipinpoint nyo kung ano talaga yung specific na yun. Yan, sige, sige. Tingnan natin kay Mark Christian. Parang, parang familiar si Mark Christian sa, sa akin. Diba? We used to attend webinars before, ha? First quarter of this year. Okay, para mag, uh, maghanda, ang, uh, may paghanda ang mga posibleng, ang mga possible safety issue sa site at matapos ang projects na walang diskasya. Okay, may paghanda ang mga possible safety issue. Okay. Close, very, very close. Very, very close. So, ano ba yung safety issue, Mark uh, Christian? Sige, sag sagutin mo lang yun. Ano, yung, ano, ano ba para sa iyo ang safety issue? Or ano para sa atin, mga safety officers, ang safety issue? Ano to? 
Diba? Ano anong tawag natin dito? Ano para sa atin ng safety issue? Ito ba ay ano? Solusyon? Ito ba ay uh, sige, sabihin mo. At ano yung ihahanda natin sa mga possible issue? Ano yung ihahanda natin sa mga possible issue natin sa safety? Kailangan mong magplano para doon sa plano mo doon ka uh, huhugot. Uh, may hugot to ah. Para maabot yung goal mo. Okay? Program. Okay. Well, uh, that is separating uh, Diana because program is after pa ng plano. Okay? Re-evaluation. Nawawala po ako sa real. Okay. Mauulit. Mauulit. Sige, sige, Ito, ha. Sabi mo kasi, Jensen, kailangan mo magplano para doon sa plano mo doon. Kahuhugot para maabot yung goal mo. Goal mo para saan? Goal ba ito lang ano? And ito kay Mark Christian, so very, very close doon sa tamang sagot. Para mapaghanda ang mga possible safety issue sa site. So, ngayon, ano tong mga possible issue at ano tong ihahanda mo para sa possible safety issue. Ha? Yan na yun. Yan na yun. Try to answer that mark or anybody from you. Sige, subukan nyo lang. Just in case na meron na kayong hit, ha? maging proactive po regarding what? Regarding what? Maging proactive regarding what? Solution sa mga issues. Yes, I like that, Diana. Doon nga kasi, eh, huwag na natin ano eh, kasi nag-safety program management na to eh. So, somehow, medyo naiintindihan niya na yan. Okay? So, solution sa mga issues. The reason why, uh, okay, ito kong solution kasi ito yung kailangan mo sa mga issue. Itong issue is what? Ano to mga issue, safety issue para sa atin? Para sa mga safety officer, ano to? This is very important, guys. Ha? Kailangan nyo itong maintindihan. Dahil itong safety issue na sinasabi natin, this is our burden. This is the reason why we have jobs. Ha? Ito yung rason kung bakit tayo may trabaho. Kung walang safety issue, that's why you you need to be very thankful na meron kayong issue sa site regarding safety. Kasi kung wala kayong issue about anything regarding sa safety dun sa site nyo, wala ka ng trabaho. Why do they bother to, to hire you? Diba? Sabi ni Karen, uh, try to check what possible hazards and try to mitigate. Okay? So, ano tong hazard? Para sa, para sa mga safety, ano tong hazard? Para sa atin. Ineffective risk assessment po. Okay? O, ano ba yung ating ina-assess? Well, tama tong hazards but I need to I need you to categorize the hazards. What is this para sa ating mga safety officer? Diba? Ito yung mga issue. Sabi ni Celsa, alamin kung ano ang main reasons ng issue. Plan is the way for your... <laughs> ang bilis eh. Uh, alamin kung ano ang main reasons ng issues. Mag-isip ng pinangamadali at pinangamabilis at naingat na solusyon para sa issues. Okay, I like the uh, answer of Celsa. Okay, Alexandro, plan is the way for your success and development. All success without have a possible problem. Makulay ka. Wait lang ha. Okay. Lang is to eh. Sorry ah. Kasi makulit yung, yung aso namin. Asa labas siya. Eh. Dito ako nag-live. Uh, okay. So, look. Lang is the way for your success in development and all success without plan have a possible problem or collapse. That's why a safety 
is the most uh, important to guide you what is the pathway to strive for follows when it comes to safety issue on site. With a plan, you know why uh, you know what to do to solve all problem on site. Exactly, I like the answer of Alexander. This is this is the exact answer that I am looking for. Okay, a second yung kay Celsa. and the third yung kay Diana. Solution sa mga possible issues. Okay, so may tatlo na tayong nanalo para doon sa 90% discount. So what will happen, uh, standby lang kayo because we have your email, we are going to send you the coupon code na 90% discount on anything that you want to purchase in Sustain. Okay? Kahit ano, hindi na ako magsasabi kung saan yung discount. So whatever you like, gamitin nyo yung coupon code. Kung ang presyo niya is 2,000, 90% uh, will be off or cut off from the price. So, 200 na lang yung 200, 400. Hindi lang, 200, yes. Okay? So, yun yung, yun yung mag mangyayari. So, I will take note of that. So, si Alessandro, si da Nakamos, Celsa Bilbar, and Diana Serra will be receiving 90% uh, discount coupon. So, anytime you gamitin, wala expiration yan. Diba? So, yun na yun. Pag sinabi natin, bibigay natin yan. Uh, Francis Day, Marcos na. And the thing. <laughs> and the joke yun. Okay? So, yun. Ang point natin dito is, the reason why I ask you is, bakit tayo nag-exist? Yung ating mga plano, sa kahit anong bagay sa buhay, or uh, whether that is a financial plan, uh, management plan, welcome. So, basta walang problema doon. Uh, may marireceive ko yung email ha, regarding the coupon code. So anyway, kahit anong plano sa buhay, management plan or, or, or yun eh, tinatawag natin uh, financial plan or kung anumang plan, you have a problem and this sets of solution will be incorporated in a plan. Diba? Kunwari, may mga dapat kang gawin. Step 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on up to 10. Yung 10 steps na yan, gagawan mo ng plano pa paano mo i-implement. Paano mo ka mag-take ng action. Let's say part of the plan is uh, part of the plan is to provide awareness to your people. So ngayon, gagawan mo ng plano pa paano ka gagawa ng pa paano mo bibigyan ng awareness yung mga tao. Okay? Uh, part of the plan or, or the solution dun sa problema is magkakaroon kayo ng uh, roasters diba? or shifting para nang sa ganun mamit pinas maliit space dun. So you need you need to continue on exercising social distancing. Eh, ang dami nyong empleyado. So expect the fact that the maximum allowable distance will be established. So ngayon, since marami yung pliado, you have to cut off. Yeah? You cut off the count para ma 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 magamit nyo yung space because you don't have that much space now. Before, okay lang magdikit-dikit sila. But right now, this is a new normal. Then dapat, ma-exercise pa rin yung social distancing because that is as per the law na nilabas na ng uh, na direktiba ng uh, executive office. So ibig sabihin, it has to be exercised during the MECQ sa NCR, kung NCR ka. But if you're working outside, doon sa mga GCQ areas, then that is something else. A GCQ, I think, is the same thing is going to be exercised yung ating social distancing. Okay? So, party yun. We have to identify all the possible problems. Lahat ng problema, nalagyan natin ang solusyon. And then, lahat ng solusyon, gagawa natin ng plan. Di ba? Before gumawa na kayo ng mga procedure, meron na kayong mga procedure in the regular way. Yung pag-regular yung situation, meron na tayong mga meron na tayong mga, mga steps na ginagawa. Meron na tayong procedure. Ngayon, i-incorporate natin ang current situation regarding this outbreak. 
or the situation of the community in terms of the MECQ and the GCQ. So, we incorporate natin ngayon to. And what are your plans? So, this is something that you need to understand. Okay? So, especially if you are going to apply to sa mga bago, okay? Sana all down may discount. Well, uh, malay mo mamaya, meron tayong ibibigay. Malay mo. Uh, that's why I, I, I try to try to make sure to, to listen carefully on my questions and whenever I'm going to give another clue. So, try. Try also that. Uh, tingnan natin kung ano pwede natin gawin. And huwag kayong mag-alala, this is not the only time that I, I will be doing that. Okay? Now, balikan natin yung portion yun, yung yung tungkol doon sa mga plano. So, you have sets of solutions incorporated already this situation regarding our community. So, what will happen is, gagawa mo ngayon ang plano. And then, of course, you originally have plans. Now, you have to incorporate this plan. Ngayon, ang tanong, dito sa plano na ginawa mo, how, how sure are you that this plan will be implemented accordingly? Diba? Pag paano mo nakakasigurado na magiging epektibo yung plan mo? That your plan will not fail. So, ganito lang ka, simple. Proactive safety is something like, may plano ka, you have the solution, pero iniisip mo na ano yung kahinaan ng iyong plano. Eh, ano ang kahinaan ng iyong solusyon? Let's say, sinabi mo na, eh, kailangan magbigay ako ng awareness. Everybody in our organization should be aware of what is happening and what are the new rules that will be applied in the organization. So, kailangan may awareness training program ka. Okay? But how sure are you na kapag nag-undergo sila ng awareness training program, eh, naiintindihan na nila talaga you will be able to solve the problem of lack of awareness. Hindi lang nila sasabihin na hindi ko kasi naiintindihan. Eh. Di ba? Or hindi ako aware. Or absent ako. Or what, whatever other reasons. So you need to find out kung ano yung mga possible reason why your plan will fail. Okay? Kapag meron doon sa mga reasons na yun na posible yung dahilan para mag-fail ang iyong plano, gawan mo ng programa. Okay? Now, Ito na yung, yung training. May awareness, may awareness ka na. May, may training plan ka na. Or awareness plan. Ngayon, your awareness plan, nagawa ka na ng schedule. Kinalam mo na kung sino yung mga tao na atin ng schedule. That's still a plan. Hindi yung program. So, you have to convert your plan into a program. Yung programa na yan, yan ang iyong gagawin para para ngayon solve it ang mga possible reasons why your plan will fail. Kunwari, eh kasi yung mga tao, hindi naiintindihan and they were not aware na uh, hindi pala ganun ang level of comprehension. So, anong plan naman gawin? What will be, your, how you, uh, what type of programs are you going to incorporate in your plan? Well, ito yung tinatawag nating visual aids. So, ito yung mga maglalagay tayo ng safety bulletin. Ito yung mga incorporate natin yung mga toolbox topic. Diba? Ito yung mga uh, another programs na nilalagay ko pa para masigurado na paulit-ulit itong na i-communicate. Diba? So parang mga ganun yung proseso ng programa. So somehow ito hindi nyo pa masyado maiintindihan because you need a particular skill on doing these things. Okay? Pero I just want you to understand na ganito yung sistema na dapat magkaroon tayo. Ito yung dapat na skill na meron tayo bilang safety. Tapos na yung mga panahon. Okay? Especially if you are just new here in our uh, group. Diba? Uh, kadalasan kasi ng mga safety officer mag-survey ka na sa Facebook, gawin mo na yan on every sites. Lahat ang sasabihin ng mga yan, they are very proud of saying na napapasta pa ako ng trabaho. Diba? They are very proud of saying na alos araw-araw nag-i-issue ng violation ticket. Or they are very proud of saying na, na 
matitigas ang ulo ng mga tao ito, ng mga tao namin. In walang matigas na, na, na ulo sa totoong buhay. Why? Untog mo yan. Sigurado ako putok yan. Walang matigas na ulo. Ang problema kasi, people are not going to listen if they don't understand what you are trying to say. So make sure you are being understood. Walang, walang susunod sa iyo kapag hindi ka naiintindihan or ang iyong argumento is not is not acceptable. So ha? make sure your argument is acceptable. Hindi lahat ng panahon. Diba? Hindi, hindi, pati, uh, hindi lahat pati ng PPE na alam mo na kailangan na, na suotin nila is kailangan ng suot. Diba? Sabi nga natin, if there is a problem, then that is about time for you to, to, to put the solution. Diba? Balikan natin yung ating problem and solution in terms of safety. Ang problema ng safety is hazard. Diba? Problema ng safety hazard. Ang solution ng safety controls. Ang PPE ay control. Solution sa hazard. Now, kung walang hazard, kailangan mo bang gamitin ang solution or yung control? Kung walang hazard na nangangailangan ng PPE, kailangan mo bang isa ng PPE? Anong tawag doon? Pagkasinood mo pa rin? It's not because yan ang nakasanayan at yan ang yan ang ginagawa ng karamihan sa site at yan ang ginagawa ng mga senior nyo. Probably your senior, eh tumanda na yan ang ganyan. Tumanda na na mali ang ginagawa. I don't tell that they are perfect because they are senior. Nobody is perfect here. Even your boss probably is wrong on what they are trying to impose you to do. Okay? Eh, tingnan natin ha. Isang sample dyan sa construction site. Yung visibility test. Supposed to be, if that is a PPE, it means it is a control. A control is a solution to a certain problem which is hazard. Anong hazard? Anong hazard? Bakit mo ginagamit ang visibility test? Nasabihin ng iba, at ito, palagi na lang to na sinasabi ng mga bagong safety na na-encounter namin. Na ang visibility test daw ay solution sa isang problema na tinatawag nilang invisibility. Kasi para daw hindi mabangga ng mga equipment, tama? Para mas madali daw sila ma-identify or makita. Bakit invisible ba sila? Is there a problem of invisibility? Kung may problema ng invisibility, din pasukutin mo ng visibility vest. Or kung ang tao ba ay walang, walang vest, ibig sabihin ba nun hindi sila makikita? Kahit naka pinakamaitim na tao na yan, nakablak na damit, sa araw, kailang kita mo yan. Sa gabi, of course, hindi mo kita nakablak. Why are you going to require people to wear black shirts? Require mo sila ng other colors that are visible at night. Now, sabi natin, para mas madali na nung makita, mga visibility base, kung gabi, or sa madidilim na lugar. Sa madidilim na lugar, wala bang ilaw? O sa site mo ba pag gabi walang ilaw? Meron. So kung may ilaw, maliwanag ba? Sapat ba yung ilaw para makapagtrabaho yung tao? Sapat yung ilaw, of course. Eh, hindi pa pwede nagmamantilyo sila. Eh, hindi, hindi nila nakikita yung pako. O eh, hindi ibig sabihin, kailangan merong reflectorized na pako tayo na gamitin din. Kasi kung ginamit mo sa tao, dapat... Yung mga materyalis mo, eh, eh, same speed din. Kasi the environment is a problem in terms of uh, intensity of, of light or luminous. Diba? Eh, ibig sabihin, you are going to make sure that the light you provided at sign, yung mga light tower natin, ay sufficient na para makapagtrabaho sila. So it means, kita mo na naman ulit yung tao. Walang problema about invisibility. Why you are keep on using this solution? Eh, hindi siya solution sa problema. Pero wala yung problema. I guess yung sabihin. And aside from that, kung sa madilim na lugar, kung walang ilaw, there is nothing to reflect on the reflectorized place. Eh, kung walang ilaw, hindi mo makikita yung, reflect, yung reflector. Walang nagre-reflect na ilaw eh. 
Then even sabihin, it is useless on the dark areas. Useless yung iyong rest. It means it is not a solution to a certain problem. Nag-gets nyo ibig sabihin. Ito ay kailangan nag na skill natin how you are going to analyze and provide yung solution. The thing is, the most important skill na kailangan natin maipakita sa ating mga company if you want to be uh, embraced by your top management as a safety officer and become valuable and become the most important safety officer in your site is ipakita mo na mayroon kang sense na yung ginagawa mo ay mayroon value. ba? Di nakakatulong sa kumpanya. Imagine if you would be able, let's say, 1,000 employees, magkano yung, ano, magkano yung vest, isang peraso? Uh, sabihin na natin na 150. And you have 1,000 employees at nag-i-issue kayo ng dalawang vest sa loob ng isang taon. In 1,000 employees sa dalawang vest sa isang taon, that is 300,000. Ano bang pakiramdam ng isang kumpanya pag inalis mo yung vest because you you know, you after your analysis and you prove that, you justify to everybody that it is not necessary to have this vest. Diba? Ano mangyayari? Do you think your company will be happy on you? Na nakasave sila ng 300,000 a year? And if their company will exist, let's say, na na-introduce mo yun 10 years ago and right now it is already 10 years being implemented not, not using this anymore in the last 10 years it means tatlong million na ang naibigay mo profit sa company that is your contribution and yun ang mapakahalaga mo your value is the same value as the money or profit of the company yun ang tinatawag natin Kasi, tandaan natin, ang purpose of the company, why they establish the business, is to have the business, to have the profit. A business without profit is useless. Okay? Much, better, much better sarado na yan. Diba? Yun ang purpose nila. Now, you are introducing savings. Itong savings na will be converted into profit. Yan yung concept of loss reduction principle para sa safety. So, there are two main factors in terms of skill, that is very important that will make you more valuable and significant to your company. Number one is the risk assessment skill, which is incorporated sa risk assessment skill, yung level up na risk assessment skill, risk assessment skill, which is proactive safety or proactive risk management. E may kasamang problem solving skill or analytical skill. Kasi kung ikaw ay problem solver, hindi ka problema. If you are not a problem solver, then you are a problem. Sure ako doon. Di ba? Eh ano bang, anong gusto mong turing na ibigay sa isang problema? O sa isang tao na problema, anong gusto mong trato? Bigyan ng importansya, bigyan ng raise, bigyan ng increase, bigyan ng promotion, tanggapin sa trabaho, huwag i-reject, Hindi yan ang gagawin mo kung ikaw ang nasa posisyon nila. Kapag sa tingin mo ang isang tao ay problema para sa iyo o tinatawag nating sakit sa kuwet or pain in the ass, diba? eh, tatanggalin mo yun. Mag-iisip ka ng paraan kung paano mo matatanggal yun. And every time na makikita mo, you should hate him or her. And every time na magsasalita yun, you are not going to pay attention to what he or she is saying. You are not going to listen to them. Yun yung ginagawa sa atin. If you are not a problem solver. If you are not a problem solver, then you are a problem. Diba? So mararamdaman nyo yun. Kung, kaya nga, kung nararamdaman nyo yan, then ibubroadcast nyo sa Facebook, matigas ang pool ng management namin, hindi ako sinusuportahan. Diba, sino kayaya dito? Sino kaya dito? It means that you are not a problem solver. That's why they don't want to listen on you. Di ba? They, they didn't see any value on what you are saying. Yun yung, yun yung katotohanan dito. Nag-guess nyo? 
Sino ang agree? Okay. Sino ang agree doon sa ating naging diskusyon na ito regarding dito sa 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 pagiging problem solver? Okay. Pakitype ng yes habang sinasabi ko yung second part. Yung first part is, tanda natin ha, yung first part again, ulitin ko, you need to have a proactive risk management skill incorporated with problem solving and analytical skill. Yan ang una. And kung paano mo i-acquire yan, you need to study. May maraming paraan para mag-aaral. And I did, I did the hard part. Okay? I, I did the hard way. Nag-research nag ako, diba? nag-self-study ako, and during those times, hindi madalik. Dahil walang internet ng mga panahon ngayon. Pero ngayon, on your era, on your time, everything is available in the internet. At meron na kayong group na mapapagtanungan, meron na kayong mga community na pwede nyo, ano, and marami yung mga safety officer na Pinoy. But during that time, very seldom, kukunti, kung meron man, pare-parehas na walang alam. Diba? Ayun yung problema. Pero ngayon, andyan na lahat, pwede ka nang makakuha ng mentor na Pilipino. Unlike before, ang mentor ko, ibang lahi. Diba? And it, it's very expensive, of course. And it's very hard to approach. Kung libre naman, it's very hard to approach. Of course, these people are very busy. And uh, andyan yung internet. Andyan si Mr. Wright, na pinatawag, Casper Kimchu. Yung, yung Mr. Google, di ba? Si Mr. Google. I-google mo lang, lalabas dyan. Bahala ka ng pumili kung ano doon ang pinakabes. Of course, you need to validate information. Hindi lahat ng information sa internet ay totoo. That's the thing. Ang iba dyan, pare-parehas lang. Kahit pa yan yung international ang source or local yung source, there are times na pare-parehas lang na malik. So, it's very hard to find out. Yun lang mahirap. Maghanap ng tama. Okay. Now, dun tayo sa second. Yung second natin, of course, is how you are going to resolve a problem that is not yet arising. Ang tawag dyan is yung tinatawag natin forecasting skill. Ha? Makakagawa ka lamang ng safety program if your skill in forecasting is very, very high or effective. Forecasting skill. Bago forecasting skill, imagine mo hindi pa lumalabas yung problema. Nahuhulaan mo na. Yun yun. Okay? So yung dalawang yun, you need to find out kung papahano mo ito maiki-develop. And good thing about that, of course, not the second wave. Kaya nga, uh, yun nga, sige, bago ko sabihin about the second wave, because that will be our last part. Yung sa second skill regarding the, the, uh, doon sa ating uh, ang tinatawag natin forecasting skill. Diba? Bago lumabas yung problema, bago lumabas yung problema, kailangan meron ka ng solusyon nakaabang. It's either the problem will take, uh, the solution will take effect when the problem arises or arises, or the problem is already solved even though it is not yet available. It will never come up anymore. Ah, hindi na lalabas yung problema pa because you put a solution to stop it from from existing. Ha? So, hindi naman i-exist yun because sinold mo na yung possible reason para mag-exist. That is the technique that you can do in proactive risk management. Ha? Dalawang klase. Ang una, It's preventing the existence of the hazard para hindi na lumabas yung risk. At yung pangalawa is making the solution or the control available when the hazard exists. Yan yung pinakadalawang bottom line natin dito. When you are going to use your forecasting skill sa safety programming. 
ito yung context ng safety program mga mga regular mga kasi hindi ang ang safety program is masyadong matalinhaga yan hindi yan nakakapi paste di ba kagaya ng itinuturo sa atin sa boss and coach na everything about safety you can do copy paste method di ba sabi nga ni Larry Gadol may mga kung may mga lawyers na copy paste eh natural sa safety officer 92% ang copy paste di ba eh hindi ka talaga masusweldohan ng mga There are lots of people that are being paid for a very, very high cost. Imagine, ako lang, for four hours a day, four days a week. So, ibig sabihin, one day a week pala, sorry, one day a week. So, ibig sabihin, four days a month, which is four hours every day. So, four times four, that is 16. And you are being paid for 96,000. Diba? Ibig sabihin, 16 hours din naman compared to the 8 hours a day or 10 hours a day ng isang regular na safety. Normal na safety. Well, ordinary o hindi normal. Ha? Kasi kapag ka umabab ka sa normal, abnormal ka. Ordinary na lang itawag natin. Pag ordinary ka, yan yung ang rate mo e eh, pang Sabihin na natin something between 16 to 30. Yan ang rate mo, ordinary. Di ba? I have a friend that I mentored as well who is receiving uh, 25,000 for two hours a day, twice a month. <laughs> Di ba? Four hours doon. Four hours sa isang buwan, it's being paid 25,000 pesos by one company. Eh, kung meron siyang apat na kumpanya, which is right now, his situation, apat na kumpanya for four hours a month. So all in all, 16 hours a month. He's receiving also 100,000. Ang malaki. Di ba? Ang daming siyesta nun. Ang daming mo pang sideline na pwedeng gawin. And... These are the things na isi-share natin all through our webinar sa buong taon. Every month, ito yung mga lalabas. Whether it is exclusive and public, there are some part that will be public and exclusive to members only. So, yun lang yung difference. Of course, we need to have a business as well in this. But ang, ang aming ratio and proportion of business to advocacy is malaki 80-20. 80 80% advocacy, 20% business. We just need to survive. That's the thing. We need to maintain the website. We need to pay all the plugins. We need to pay all the people that are working with us. And of course, we need to feed ourselves. So ayun lang yun. Para makontinue natin yung advocacy. But 80% is advocacy. That's the reason why. Ito yung matindi. Dadating yung panahon, wala na magti-training ng classroom because, because it is too expensive. Even us, uh, what will happen? Eh, hindi namin, in, in, in us, eh, hindi namin naalisin yung class. Pero, if you're just going to think practically, di ba, whether may COVID or wala, sino magte-training sa, sa, let's say, sa boss and coach tayo, sino magte-training sa 5,500 if you can get it to 2,000 pesos in online? And, matututo ka rin naman sa online. The same thing na matututo ka sa classroom. Pero mas garanted na mas matututo ka sa online because like what we are doing, we are selecting the best uh, trainers. And lahat yun, lahat ng video lessons na i-record -re nila will be screened. Subject for screening. So kailangan pumasa sa ang criteria and parameters and we won't accept pagka-ordinaryo lang yan. So they have to follow our rules and regulation. Kung kasi ayaw natin mabahir na, sasabihin natin po oh, yung ating mga advanced webinars, yung mga technical courses, yung management courses, pero yung ating boss and coach supply, hindi pwede. Diba? Pinupulaan natin yung boss and coach ng karamihan. So ayaw natin, nasa atin, ganun din nangyari. But this is the thing. The mo most important point here is, bakit ka gagastos ng limang libo if you're going to get the same benefit or somehow much better, uh, much more benefit than the 5,000 pesos compared to 2,000 pesos. And yun, yun ay yung pupuntahan natin. So it means 
we are giving away 60%. Diba? Para sa adbo kasi. Eh sa bus yun. Kasi ang problema sa bus, baka naman sakali na kami ng mga STO kapag gano'n na nangyari. Diba? Tapos, pwede mo pang kuhanin yun lang. Hindi ka obliged na pumunta every day and get out of your duty para lamang umaten ng training. You can do it anywhere. Your cell phone, your, uh, your laptops, di ba? Available na. That's the good thing about it. Okay? So, balikan natin ito. Yung sinabi nung no to second wave, of course, eh, hindi tayo pabor dyan sa second wave. Bakit? Magugutom na naman ang karamihan sa ating mga Pilipino. Especially sa mga safety concern natin, it's not only about the Filipinos and at the safety officers. Concern natin is the whole economy. Ito yung tandaan nyo. That's why we're going to put programs also. Ano yung mga pangit na naranasan nyo during the COVID period? Ano yung mga problemang na-encounter nyo? I want you to write it down. Malay nyo, magbigay ako ng, ng certain discount na naman. Okay? Ano yung mga na-experience nyo na kung halimbawang papipiliin kayo next time, eh ayaw nyo nang ma-experience. Ano yung experience dito sa, sa quarantine period na kung papipiliin kayo in the future, eh ayaw nyo nang ma-experience mo. Okay. Just type your answer. Pipili ulit ako ng tatlong pinakada best at bibigyan mo naman ng 50% coupon code. 50% ah on any product din. Any product. Sige, tingnan natin. O sige, ganito na. 60% kasi advocacy. Di ba? 60% coupon code sa tatlong best answer. Okay, saglit lang. Wala? Wala nagsagot? Okay. So, Pasensya na nga, medyo makulit yung 
Aso namin dito. Ayun. Um, so, di ba lahat naman um, naranasan natin yung, yung problema kapag ka wala ka trabaho, di ba? And you are not prepared about uh, yung, pag, yung wala ka nga, wala kang panggasos, di ba? Kasi wala tayong sweldo, no work, no pay, kailangan pang umasa sa ayuda. And yun ang nakakalungkot kasi even the OFWs are also experiencing the same thing because of the lack of awareness in terms of financial management. Diba? So yun yung ating gustong maiwasan in terms of uh, sa mga safety officers. So yun ang concern natin. Na isa, so kailangan makasolve ng problema regarding that is to stop those uh, reasons kung bakit mababa yung value ng isang safety officer. Of course, pataasin natin yung value ng safety officers ng sa ganun, mas malaki ang pwede mong masave kasi malaki yung iyong nakikita. And aside from that, hindi tayo pwede umasa sa isang source of income. That is bullshit. Tandaan nyo yan. When I was working as a safety officer but before I resigned, marami ako sa itay. Hindi ako nawala ng site. Nagbibenta ako ng mga lens, nagbibenta ako ng filters, nagbibenta ako ng mga gadgets, di ba? To, para makadagdag sa aking sweldo. Although maganda-ganda na yung salary package na nare-receive ko, and maganda yung mga benefit, eh, gumagawa pa rin tayo ng paraan to have another source of income. Just in case na mawala yun, you are ready for whatever emergency that will happen. Tayo pang mga safety ang walang emergency fund. That is an imaginable reality. Diba? Sanay dako tayo kapag ang problema hindi pa nag-exist but that our solution is already available. Kailangan natin i-practice sa sarili natin. Yung sabi nga natin eh, yung karpintero, kanyang bahay ang hindi kayang gawin. Yung safety, Diba? You cannot increase your income. Eh, how much more if you are going to help your company na magkaroon ng savings from the expenses? It's not going to happen. Dahil nga, sa sarili mo, you can do that. Ano yung pipwedeng maging source of income or pag-increase ng profitability ng company? You, that is what you are going to find out. Same with yourself. You have to practice it with yourself. Hindi pipiling so, isa lang ang source of income mo. Otherwise, it won't be enough for you to act. Sabi natin, in safety, continuous learning. Eh, how you can afford to continue learning? Kung puro ka lang, ang, hindi mo kayang i-afford mag-invest. Diba? So you need to afford, you need to have your capability to invest, of course. Ready yung iyong pag-invest because you have you are budgeting your financial uh, financial status or financial capabilities. Meron kang budget para sa contingency plan, meron kang budget para sa emergency fund, meron kang budget sa expenses, and meron kang additional source of income. That is what we are going to do in the premium membership kasi tutulungan natin ang lahat na magkaroon ng sideline or side income. Yung ba tipong ang pang-aral mo, at least, eh, doon mo na lang, doon mo na kukuhanin sa sideline mo. So, what will happen? Eh, hindi mababawasan ang kinikita mo. Gusto mong mag-practitioner, okay? Kailangan mo ng 48 hours advance course. If you can afford to have it free, di ba? Gano'ng aganda nun? So, let's say practitioner ka na, gusto mong mag-renew, you need additional advanced courses, then you have to invest again on that. Pero gusto mo, ang gagawin natin, we will make it available free for every safety officers. Kaya yung scheme na gagawin natin will be more beneficial for the members, of course. Kasi bakit naman kailangan pa ng membership if we can do that? Can we do that to everybody? Eh, ito po gagawin sa mga taong hindi naman disidido. So, you are going to select these people who are really uh, uh, dito, deserving 
para dun sa ganong klase ng benefit. Yung seryoso lang, if you're not serious about your career, your profession, then wala akong magagawa, di ba? So, you cannot be part of the advocacy. That's the thing. So, yung lahat ng galaw, may uh, limits. Hindi ka makakalabas dahil wala kang pass, kaya asa ka na lang sa mga may pass. Kung may kailangan ka sa labas, di ba? Nakakahiya, pero kailangan mo uh, lumukin yung price mo. Tanggapin ang mga umiikot para sa rasyon. Well, that's true. That's true. Because nga, di ba? Kami, what used to happen, yung binibigay sa aming rasyon, pinibigay din namin sa iba. Well, tinatagap namin, pinibigay namin sa iba. And dinadagdagan pa namin para mas mabigyan pa yung iba. Especially yung frontliners like yung security guards dito sa sa subdivision, di ba? And these are the people that who are, are putting their lives at risk. Eh, bakit hindi mo bibigyan sila ng mga pabor? Diba? Rather than, yun yung sinasabi ko, if you prepared yourself for this, then, meaning to say, that's no issue. Eh, yun yung wala sa iba. And a lot of, eto yun ha, sa STO pa lang, sa mga STO, na mga marami dito ang talagang maapektuhan. Especially kung hindi magre-resume ang mga classroom training, what will happen, maraming STO wala website. Maraming STO hindi alam yung platform na ganito. Eh, what will happen, magugutom yan. Diba? Maapektuhan yan for a very, very long time. And possibly, if the economy goes down, everybody will be affected. And that's the thing. If you did not prepare yourself for that, then that will be a big problem for you. Okay? Hindi mo kayang tumulong if you yourself is somebody who needs help. Yung tipong kahit mga kasamahan natin sa bahay ay pinaghihinalaan mo sa positive na positive siya or ganun din sila lalo na kung ikaw ang may pass pag lumabas. Okay? And that's another thing also. Ako sa amin, ako lumalabas. Pero ito yung matindi. What, from the very beginning, since uh, ano nga ako eh, uh, safety officer na apply ko, I, I'm not used to go to places na maraming tao. San ba maraming tao? Doon sa mura. Di ba? Ngayon, since nang titipit ka, pinagpakasya mo yung pera mo, pupunta ka sa mura kahit na napakataas ng risk na meron doon positive. Ako, inaalam ko kung sa lugar walang bumibili dahil mahal. Dahil ang point ko, my, my life is more important than what I, what I am going to save. Diba? Hindi ako pupunta ng palengke para mamalengke. Pupunta ako doon sa mga mall o sa mga supermarket kung saan medyo mataas yung price dahil walang masyadong pupunta doon. Yung tipong walang pila. Di ba? And talabas ako, hindi ko sasabayan yung labas ng karamihan ng tao, especially sa umaga. You want to buy uh, food in the morning? Kaya lahat na labas ng umaga yan. Bakit? Mainit kasi sa hapon eh. So ano rason? Bakit, may, uh, bakit sa umaga lang labas yung tao? Kasi hindi pa masyadong mainit doon. Eh kung maglalakad yan, kasi wala namang biyahe. Di ba? Or kung meron man, meron man, nakamotor, syempre may ilig sa hapon. So mag, sa umaga ka mamamalik, eh, eh risky yun. And that is, that is the thing that we are not doing during this time. I'm not doing that uh, during this, this quarantine period. Lalabas ko ng alas dos ng hapon, nung time na hindi pa kami pinabawalan ng hanggang 12. So ginagawa ko, lalabas ako ng 11 to 11.30. Papapasukin ka naman kasi. Basta hindi ka na lang pwedeng lumabas ng 12 o'clock. So, labas ka ng 11.30, wala nang masyado na mamalengke, and doon ako bibili ng araw mga kailangan bibili. So, di ba, mas, mas ano yun, mas safe yun. And pipili ako ng lugar kung saan medyo mahal. 
Diba? Eh, sa supermarket, pag bumili ka sa Monterey, what will happen? Eh, 260 ang pork chop. Eh, dump samantalang sa palengke, makano bili mo, bili ng, makano kilo ng pork chop? 180. So, maraming bibili sa 180. Yes, makakatipid ka sa 80 pesos, but the thing is, you are putting your life at risk. Eh, safety officer ka pa naman. Eh, kasi yung mura eh. Kasi sobrang mahal dun eh. Eh, sobrang mahal. Diba? O bibili ka ng soft drinks, ba't nabibili doon sa mga maliliit na murang tindahan kung saan maraming tao ang bumibili? Kaya sa 7-11 ka bumili, kung konting tao. Di ba? O doon sa iba pa. Kung, kung, kung sa 7-11 maraming tao, maghanap ka ng 7-11 o convenience store na konti yung tao. Yun yung point natin dito. But if you are not prepared, you can do that. Kung hindi ka prepared, that's the point. Okay? So, anyway, that's all about for tonight. So, abangan nyo dahil i-inform na ka namin uh, again lahat. You can inform your friends to join us in the future. Okay? Uh, you can inform your friends, your colleagues para mas marami maging parte ng advocacy na to. So, makasama natin sa discussion. And I am very uh, happy about your uh, interaction during this webinar. Dahil kahit hindi boses yan, type-type lang, di ba? Uh, nakakatuwa kasi na, na ganun, nagagawa pa rin natin interactive yung webinar. Okay? So again, I would like to congratulate you kasi at least medyo naliwanagan kayo on some other things. Although I'm sure this is not enough. That's why we are going to continue to do this uh, twice a month. Okay? There will be public... Uh, webinars twice a month and there will be uh, exclusive webinars twice a month pero mas in-depth yun yung exclusive of course, ibang level nun and this is general level pero yung mas malalim if you want if you're not a member, kasi hindi pa naman namin nire-release yung membership if you're not a member yet uh, so what needs to happen is ilalabas natin yung mga mga paid webinars so may bayad nga lang Okay, pero meron din tayo mga free. Ngayon, since you can afford pa sa may bayad, it's fine to do on the free webinars. Kahit somehow, somehow siguro meron na tayo natutunan. So, sino dito wala natutunan, pakisabi lang ng no. Ah, me. Di ba? Sino dito may natutunan dito sa webinar na to? At sinong nabitin? Honest speaking. Sino may natutunan dito, please, uh, please type in kung uh, please type yes or uh, kung may natutunan ka or uh, nabitin nabitin dito sa ating webinar kasi hindi ko napansin na dalawang oras na tayo nagwe-webinar kaya pala medyo nagagastas na yung dalang muna ito I don't have water with me here kasi nasa labas nga ako and aside from that ito pa makulit yung ating uh, yung ating alaga dito so yun Si Jensen, thank you very much. Thank you din. Okay. At uh, of course, alam ko naman bitin kahit dalawang oras na po eh. So marami tayong mga napag-usapan and this is the first time na napag na pinag-usapan natin yung tukul dito. And still, it will be related although nasa trabaho na kayo probably on our next session ng, ng public webinar natin. So malamang, uh, if you can join us again in the future, kasi kailangan makapunta tayo sa point kung saan makakagawa kayo na safety plan na epektibo for the whole year, for the next three years, for the next five years of your career. Okay? So, yun. Uh, si Diana, thank you din. Welcome. Si Alexandro, thank you din. Malaking tulong po sa akin uh, bilang safety dahil naiintindihan ko ang uh, kahalagahan ng lahat. Thank you very much. Thank you very much as well. Kay Celsa, may natutunan po. I am so glad about it. Thank you for joining us. Jessica, uh, thank you then. And uh, okay, Diana, of course, more. Na-miss din namin ito eh. Diba? Isa din, alam niyo yung pagka, pagka naging trainer ka, mamimiss mo talaga. If, if something is Sabi nga natin eh, sa bagay ng mga gusto natin gawin, kung gusto mo talaga, may parang walang makakapigil sa'yo. And this is the reason why 
So we are doing things like this, of course. Just support and support our advocacy. Be part of our advocacy na matulungan natin to stop the second wave. Okay? As much as possible. Malaking bagay na tayong mga safety. Eh, lahat ng kumpanya mayroong mga safety, di ba? So kung lahat ng mga safety ay eh, gagawa ng programa para magpigilan ng second wave, do you think it will be an added advantage for our community? Okay? So yun lang. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. And I wish to see you more on our next webinar. Inform your colleagues, inform your friends, share our post para mas marami makakita. And we will go deeper, i-announce natin yung susunod nating topic and we will create the link for registration again. So para mag-register kayo para sa susunod na public uh, training natin. By the way, meron din pa na tayong paid webinar which is a webinar series Yung webinar series na to, four-day webinar series. Ito yung, uh, kung, ano, kung gusto nyo ng link dun sa four-day webinar series, itatype ko dito, ha? Uh, I'm just going to try to... I'm sorry, hindi ako ready, pero yung, yung kasing four-day webinar series, sunod-sunod siya. So, that will start on May 16. It's very affordable. Parang barya-barya lang sa inyo. And uh, for those who just want the coupon, ito yung ibibigay ko sa inyo. I will allow the other guys na hindi nanalo ng coupon to have it 50%. Okay? Bibigay ko sa inyo ang coupon code sa lahat ng mga nat-attend na hindi nanalo ng 90% discount para doon sa 4-day webinar series. Maganda yun. Uh, ibibigay ko na lang sa inyo yung link rather than uh, discuss about the details about it. So, I think nakita nyo na, no? nag-register kayo dito. The same link, tingnan nyo lang doon sa baba yung 4-day webinar series. Ando doon yung kasama yung portion ng loss control management. I think that will happen on the third day. Di ba? There's a certain price, I'm sure, uh, nakita nyo na yun. I'll give you 50% on that kung gusto nung gamitin doon. For those people na nanalo ng 90% at coupon code, is what will happen. Uh, ito na lang ang gagawin natin. This is the coupon code. Coupon for everybody. Doon sa mga nanalo ng 90%, if you want to use your 90% here, fine. If you want to use the 50%, that is also fine. Okay. Coupon code natin, na 50% is uh, ito P3K I think uh, mali ang akin P3K yes ito yung coupon code natin yes, yung 4-day webinar series since that is paid Lahat po ng, ng ating paid webinar and online course na paid, eh meron pong certificate. Yung ating free online course, free na ngayon, may certificate pa rin. So, ito, yung 4-day webinar series may certificate. You can use this coupon code for 50% off. Okay? Now, dun sa mga, sa tatlong nanalo, kina, kina, uh, kina Diana and the rest, okay? 90%, may 90% coupon code eh, ibibigay ko sa inyo yung coupon code because makikita nila dito. So I'll send it on the email. So what will happen is, pwede nyo gamitin yung 50% dito, but yung 50% lang. Or pwede nyo yung gamitin dito, baka kasi uh, gusto nyo gamitin yung sa mas more expensive na product or, or training, uh, di mas malaki yung matisave nyo rather than using it here. Kasi I think mura lang po. It's very, very, very cheap. The 4-day webinar series, uh, what will happen to that is uh, you will be able to, ang, ang end result nito, you're going to submit a safety program. Program na, hindi plan to ha. Program na. You're going to submit a safety program regarding COVID-19 or uh, this new normal, uh, new normal uh, situation natin. 
Talks. Yun ang kaganda doon. Pag natapos yung four-day webinar series, that is what you will be able to produce. Eh, doon sa mga walang trabaho, saan nyo gagamitin? Pag nag-apply kayo ng trabaho, pwede nyo ibida yan. Sigurado ako. Ma-interview ka lang. Ipakita mo lamang yung iyong programa. Pero structure lang, huwag mong ibubungad lahat kasi baka mamaya, hindi ka i-hire. Tapos kopyahin ka lang. Okay? May certificate po ba yung 4-day webinar? Yes po, may certificate ang 4-day webinar. May certificate ang 4-day webinar. Yes. Yes. Okay? So yun. May certificate yun at ang certificate nyo yun ay complete certificate. Basta makasubmit ka ng iyong safety program, may completion certificate ka. Okay? So, yun. Uh, yung link, yung link, uh, I think, tingnan nyo na lang dun sa, uh, dito sa link na po, HTTP. I-browse nyo lang sa pababa. I-scroll nyo lang. Nandun yung 4-day webinar series. Click yung join now. Apply nyo yung coupon code automatically. Boom. 50%. Ha? Ring. That's so step that mb slash slash uh, free webinar e slash webinar free free ha free ang inyong puntahan yan yan yung link i-click nyo lang yan scroll nyo sa baba join kayo doon pag dating nyo doon sa sa ano sa purchase page okay Meron doon coupon code, ilagay nyo lang yung coupon code, automatically it will be discounted doon sa price nyo. Doon para sa ano naman, marireceive nyo ba? Tomorrow morning, doon sa tatlong nanalo ng 90% na coupon code, you can use that in this 4-day uh, webinar series. Again, may certificate of completion sa makakatapos at mag-a-attend ng webinar. Okay? Yun yung ating ano. So, I think that's that's it. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat and thank you very much for participating in this webinar and hoping to see you soon. Hoping to see you soon again in our next uh, schedule. Thank you and have a good night. Welcome and welcome.